Hey, this is Mass X with a brand new Eminence and Shadow Master of Garden video. And we have our second event character dropping as I'm recording this video. Yes, it is Hottest Musician Epsilon. Now, this character is really interesting. Before we dive into her, we got dropped a couple new banners, okay? We got a selection summon with, as you can see in the background, Spring Sword Dance Alpha, as well as probably the best AoE green character there is right now, and that's Way of the Beast Delta. A solid banner. Don't know if I would recommend pulling on it at this day and time, but they're definitely both solid green characters. And on top of that, we got Calamity Witch Aurora, who is still a stellar red unit with that bleed. She's just incredibly effective. Just a bunch of very good banners. I don't know if I would recommend on any of them drawing on. If I had to, maybe the Calamity Witch Aurora if you don't have her or if you want to finish her off because she's just had some great longevity in the game and I don't see her going anywhere anytime soon. Now, let's get back to though, Epsilon. This character has an interesting kit. Now she's support, Elf, Shadow Garden, Seven Shadows. And when she's awoken, her first slot is just an add magic gear slot, so we don't really care about that. But we do care about the remainder of these awakenings, these skills. We've got Hottest Musician first, the special ability at start of wave, raises own overheal by 40% permanent. Yeah, pretty crazy that she's going to get that type of boost on top of everything else. She could be really freaking tanky. And then we've got the Awakened Skill 2. Inflicts 50% damage and sleep on single enemy with highest attack for 10 seconds. I absolutely love that. Further raises damage received by 20% for 10 seconds. Then we've got the Awakened Skill 1 Brilliant Blessing. Recovers HP of a single ally with lowest HP by 150% of attack. Further increases defense by 20%. Really solid protection there in that Awakened Skill 1. Then we've got the Awakened Hidden Technique. Recovers HP of all allies by 200% of attack, so we've got an AoE heal, heal there, so that's great. Further reduces damage received by 40%, but it's only for 5 seconds. Almost wish they would have dropped the percentage and increased the time, but okay. All good. Yeah, a really, really, really solid support character, but my one problem with her is this. Thankful Heart Alpha is an absolutely amazing support, in particular for green. I wish I had mine all the way fully up. I really do. I abuse this character at times. She's just amazing, and why? Because of the speed. Her awakened special ability at the start of wave raises speed of all allies by 20%, further increases speed by 15% if seven shadows. And there's no color limitation there. That's crazy. She's so good. Her hidden technique covers HP of all allies by 200% of attack. Also raises attack by 15% for 10 seconds. Further increases attack by 25% for 10 seconds of 7 shadows. Man, she's just such a good character. The Awakened Skill 1 recovers HP of a single ally with lowest HP by 100% of attack. Further raises speed by 30% for 20 seconds if green elemental. More speed, more speed, and for the Awakened Skill 2, even more speed. Raises attack of all allies by 10% for 20 seconds. Further raises speed by 30% for 20 seconds of green elemental. She's just an absolutely sick support, especially in green teams, but she does have some flexibility because of her awakened a special ability because it doesn't have a color limitation and it's permanent and if you're running a bunch of seven shadows she's freaking amazing so yeah so it's gonna be really hard to be able to pull her out 
for another support. That's where my issue is with this. I think Epsilon, hottest musician, has major upside, but I don't think she has as much upside as the other one, if you get my drift. I mean, only time will tell, and we'll have to see how getting that permanent 40% overheal really works with her, because it could be amazing. Just gonna have to test it, and that's what I plan on doing. So let me know if you're interested in this banner at all or if this is a hard skip for you. Honestly, if you have a good enough green team, I would probably, and you already have, thankful heart, I'd be saying skip, skip, skip on this banner. Save your currency. I just, on paper, I just can't imagine Epsilon's gonna be better than thankful heart alpha. Could be wrong, but that's what my gut tells me. But anywho, let me know if you're gonna pull on any of these banners, what you think of this character. Definitely don't think it's a bad character at all. Actually, these two event characters are really pretty darn good, especially if you wanted to do a solo green team. They're both gonna be excellent. But again, we've got some really good choices in green. And I'm not so sure Epsilon can take over that top spot as support. So with that, as always, please like and subscribe. It helps a lot. Have a great day.